Hey Tabernacle, it's Martin here and I am excited to be able to come to you with some details about our outdoor service. I know most of you have probably already heard about it, but on July 12th, we're going to gather together as one church in one location for very the very first time and that's going to be at the Northern Michigan Dragway in Calva. I hope that that's something that excites you because most of you have asked the question, when are we going to come together? And this is how we're doing it in a really big way. So here are some details for you as we get going. First of all, go ahead and pack your chairs, make sure that you're comfortable, and if you're somebody that wants to have some extra shade, bring an umbrella, canopy, that's perfectly okay. We'll have ushers and parking team there, and they'll have the opportunity to help you figure out how to kind of be along the outskirts of things so that you're not in anybody else's way. But we'd ask that you come early. The service will start promptly at 10 a.m. Make sure you take into account this is a new location you may have not been to, and it's gonna take you a little while to get there and probably a minute to park and get prepared. So the doors will open right around 9 a.m. We're excited to see everybody there. Uh, we wanna encourage you to make sure that you're prepared for the event. So one of the things that we can do to help you with that is to let you know First off, we're gonna be taking communion. This is gonna be a great opportunity for us, but we're going out of our way to make sure this is a safe event for everybody. So I know that some of you just rolled your eyes and I wanna just go ahead and speak to that. This is an event where everybody within our congregation will hopefully be there and not everybody's gonna see uh, the quarantine or masks or social distancing all the same way. So I wanna encourage you, love people well, show them a great deal of respect, give them a little bit of extra space until you figure out, are they ready for hugs yet? Because I can tell you right now, not everybody is. I may be, you may be, but they may not be. So give people a little bit of space on that. I also want to encourage you, one of the hardest things to do with that is probably to make sure that our kids are also adhering to that same distance. Give people a little bit of room and keep your kids tight with you. Uh, there's going to be a lot of vehicles going around and this again is a location we haven't been at so our parking team will already have quite a big challenge with that. But to be uh, you know, positive and to talk about what I'm really excited about, we're doing this at the location we are because it's kind of right in between Buckley and Manistee and that allows our online campus to participate as well. So what does that mean for us? It means one, we've all got the same distance to drive, but two, it also means it's a space big enough that we can socialize. We can spend some time afterward worshiping God and then actually socializing with one another, the people we haven't seen in a while. So I'd encourage you, bring a picnic, or a picnic lunch, a bag lunch, whatever that looks like for you, and plan on staying for a little while, enjoying the property, enjoying the service, seeing what the Northern Michigan Dragway looks like. That's gonna be a cool thing for all of us to be able to do together. And if, uh, if I didn't say it already, let me just take an opportunity to simply say thank you. Thank you not only to those of you that are going to make that an amazing event, because there's a lot of people that have already stepped up to serve there, but thank you to those of you that continue to give faithfully, because you trust and love and worship a God that you know has asked you to give, and you have done that faithfully. So thank you so much for that. I am excited to see you at Northern Michigan Dragway on July 12th at 10 a.m. God bless, and we'll see you there.